Next question. Huh, now this one is goes out to you to the entrepreneurs. Lessons to share with entrepreneurs in Rwanda, specifically in Rwanda. Mm -hmm. A few do's and don'ts. Just to pick three on each yes. side. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'll start with don'ts. Mm -hmm. um, don't assume mm -hmm. your customer wants what you have. Okay. Right. Uh, the other one is uh, you need to you actually need to put in the work to uh -huh. get your customer to understand what your customer is. Many times, a lot of products I've seen are worked out in the background and then so, so all of a sudden brought to the fore and said, you need this. <laughs> and it is so not I what see. the customers want. So you really okay. need to get out of your coding rooms and actually uh -huh. go out. I, I think also um, that's so that's in the don'ts. Mm -hmm. The other is if you don't need to raise money, mm -hmm. Don't raise Stay money. Stay away from it. Yeah. Don't raise that money. That I learned. Uh, it's expensive yeah. and it will come back to bite you. Definitely. You sign that mm -hmm. dotted line, they own you. Yeah. Other do's is how do you grow? Figure out how, mm -hmm. what are other ways to grow? Um, God, God's, uh, I'm a believer and God, I think, has given us a, a creative mind to think outside the box. Mm -hmm. Today, a lot of entrepreneurs live in an age that I say, you are very lucky. Yeah. Um, when I was starting on my journey, there was no YouTube, there were no yeah. channels and all these kind of things. Today, there's so much more information out mm -hmm, there. Mm -hmm. So use it. How do you grow? How does, how does uh, for instance, Exus or Save get out into Congo? I'll get mm -hmm. out into Uganda. Look at that. How, what's that grow? What does that growth uh, look like? So always uh, look at how do I grow? So mm -hmm. those, those are me for, for do's. And the second one, I think, would be find an amazing team. It's it's don't it's get not in the easy. Bus. Don't get in the bus with the wrong people. <laughs> I know, man, I, but it's not easy. I'm mean, speaking from experience. It's, you know, it's a headache. Okay, so next yeah. question. Um, yes. This is gonna be a tough one. Um, hey. Yeah, and, and disclaimer. Um, okay, <laughs> so I need you to tell us yeah. the top three random startups. Yeah that you vouch for, yeah. that you think are going to be the next big thing. Obviously, this, yeah. I mean, Exus is excluded because you don't want to yeah. get you biased here. Yeah. Okay. So I need those three names. Those three names. Yes. I think they're, well, what, what do you mean by who are going to be the next big thing? Uh, you think they're onto something. Yeah. I mean, you, you look at them, you've been following them, or you know the people behind whatever it is yeah. they're working on, and then you think they're onto something. Yeah. Yeah. I think one of the things, again, back to what's inspiring uh -huh. me is uh, beyond becoming, I, I think there's a fallacy of chasing unicorns, mm -hmm. right? That yeah, no, no, that's a big thing now. It's a, it's a fallacy. I think- <laughs> Why? Uh, Why do you think? Because I think beyond, uh -huh. uh, let me tell you this. Facebook came on the scene when I first reached the UK. Today, to get to a billion dollars, it'll take two years, right? Yeah. But it's also going to take the same time to be wiped off. Definitely. In 50 years, uh -huh. Facebook may not be there, Google uh -huh. may not be there, uh -huh. but there are those that are going to leave lasting impact. And mm -hmm. so to me, that's, uh, that's I think, where African companies have the opportunity to solve problems that are going, that are going to leave impact. And those, to me, are the ones that just blow me away. Right? I see. Um, and so currently I work with... Uh, so that, that's the first okay. one? Yep. Okay. What's yep. the name? Um, you, know, you, you asked me about uh, what are the companies... Uh, top three. Top three. Those are the ones that I want. I think in, in agriculture, mm -hmm. um, is good. There, there are those. I think I've come across one in the who's thinking around how do you do storage for cold chains. That to me is an interesting space uh, in terms of energy because I see... I know the company, I've uh, got to give them a shout out. out. Cold Kivo, right? Cold Kivo. Oh, cold I know Kivo. them. Yes, yeah. Cold Kivo is a great yeah. one. Yeah. Um, the other one as well that I see has a potential to create a, a huge amount of jobs is mm -hmm. uh, in the space called Neo Farms, right? Mm -hmm. And so that's Opina, right? Opina. Opina. Um, they, they do a lot of work in um, um, farming. So they come help yeah. do set up farms, manage services of farms. And I think that's a great opportunity right there. Seems like you're a huge fan of farming. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I do. Okay. I do. Third yes. one. Um, hmm. who would I put as a third one? I don't know, you tell me. Uh, that's an interesting one. Uh, You're gonna give me a third one. Otherwise you kill this 10 <laughs> Q's thing, right? <laughs> Let me see. I, th I think in the education space, uh -huh. um, BAG to me, BAG Innovation, I'll, I'll give a shout out to them. 
okay. uh, one because okay. uh, they're seeing a problem of a lot of uh, mm -hmm. students who are coming out. I see. And how do I how do they get those students into into job places or at mm -hmm. least learning to how do you how do they grow that? Yeah. Nice. I, th oh, I think those, perfect. those, those have. Yeah. I thought it was going to be harder, but it seems it was quite easy for you to come up with those. <laughs> The ninth question is, yes. now this is more of a prediction now, yes. you know, um, five years from now, where mm. do you see Rando's Take Ecosystem? Now I need top three predictions mm. from where you're standing, yep. five years from now, three to five years from now, mm. where do you sit? And then... I, I would see, all right, so my prediction mm. is uh, predicated on, on a few things, but mm. one majorly is mm. that Rwanda needs to see herself playing a role in Africa mm -hmm. as opposed to inward. I know it's a, it's a big challenge where mm -hmm. a lot of com our, our culture is very conservative, right? Definitely. So yeah. how do we look at ourselves playing a role in Nigeria? How do we look at ourselves for Nigerian companies playing here? Mm -hmm. right? I know there's been a drive to create us as a hub, but a hub by default is you come in and get out. Yes. I think Rwanda can play that role being the inter the, like the concierge of the ecosystems, right? Mm -hmm. and, and that's concierge. going to be a very critical role. Today, okay. we don't do much with uh, Kenya, with Congo, with Nigeria. Uh -huh. Everyone's doing their own time thing but yeah. who's that who's trying to do that sort of bridge the gaps exactly. in between okay, so I, I think see. that to me is where where we would win okay uh, in the future um, so that's one yeah second second I think in the space where it comes to uh, logistics mm -hmm. right I, I think the where where I see logistics and, mm -hmm. I, and I as a hub right I see um, and there's an amazing investment happening right now in, in the country in terms of the aviation logistics. So we've got a new airport. Mm -hmm. What is going to be the driver of what we, logistics hub in the region? What does mm -hmm. that look like? So there's a lot of technology that will go uh, towards that one. Nice. Uh, I see opportunities for more uh, startups here doing uh, ventures with corporates in, in that particular space. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay. That's good. Uh, the last question now is uh, we call it uh, an open mic. Yes. Um, whatever it is you want to share with our viewers uh, i think even look at them <laughs> you know and then because pretty much this is this whole show is meant for entrepreneurs yeah. i mean how do we learn share and then grow you yeah. know keyword here what i've learned today at least is growth mm. right and then this is the point of this segment and and uh, we believe that there's, there's there are things you can learn from somebody else or we can learn from each other mm. as we grow and then mm. growing together as an ecosystem yeah. is really key at yeah. least uh from where we, we stand and what we believe in mm. so that's why we believe um you know our viewers can learn a thing or two from you so yeah. you know open unstructured unscripted as i told you just you know tell them whatever it is mm. but maybe some of the things you've seen or i don't know whatever it is you want to tell them yeah um, one, I think my journey has been mm -hmm. one of learning and one of uh, being burnt. But along the way oh, wow. is... Uh, <laughs> you, 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 word you, is you quite want, interesting. Eh? Yeah, but, but you, you want to avoid others taking the same path. Yeah, right? true. I remember a, a mentor of mine asked mm -hmm. me before I got into the entrepreneurship journey, he asked mm -hmm. me, all right, so this is an exciting idea. Yeah. The question is, what else? What else would you put your capital to? You, you need to... Every time you think of jumping straight in is uh -huh. ask, what else? How else could I do this differently? Uh -huh. Now it's exciting when you have a new idea, you have yeah. something that's buzzing, right? Yeah. But who are those people who can be speak candidly to, to you yeah. um, and also be, be willing to take uh, candid, uh, um, candid uh, responses, right? Yeah. It helps shape you. It helps get you thick skin as to believe, to believe in what you believe in, right? Yeah. So um, I think it's along the way it is be open to knowing that you don't need to necessarily know everything, yeah, definitely. right? Um, reach out. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I, I, I thought I knew everything and you know, yeah. look what. So I think there is, um, that, that, that to me is uh, an opportunity to yeah. see who else is out there. Reach out, learn uh, from others. So yeah, so that's it. Um, again, the point is to keep it short, straight to the point, and uh, hopefully this helps you grow in one or the other. And let us know what you think about this and tell us who, who do you think we should have next in this. And Philip, I mean, is a good friend of mine. I've learned a ton. I'm still learning from him. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that was it. Uh, Shema Steve here. Thanks for watching. Bye.